content not just for today, but tomorrow. From the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. From the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. From the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting.
from the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. CCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. CCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. CCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting.
content not just for today, but tomorrow. From the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. From the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. From the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting.
from the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. From the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. From the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. From the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. Content not 
just for today, but tomorrow. From the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldine, and the Aldine Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. From the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. From the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting.
from the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldean, and the Aldean Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. CCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival comes the future of instructional broadcasting. CCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival comes the future of instructional broadcasting. CCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival comes the future of instructional broadcasting. Content not 
not just for today, but tomorrow. From the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. From the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. From the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting.
the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival. Comes the future of instructional broadcasting. TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. Content not 
not just for today, but tomorrow. From the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldean, and the Aldean Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. From the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival, comes the future of instructional broadcasting. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, your hostess for the evening, Akilo Willery, Executive Director of Instructional Technology in Aldean ISD. Good evening, everyone. I know that we've got a lot of people enjoying the photography exhibit around the room, but if you could find a seat, we're going to go ahead and get started. All righty, everyone, welcome and thank you so much for coming out to our third annual film and photography contest. 
Uh, we are really excited about this event. It by far is our best one yet, but the, I said that last year too, so this really is the best one yet. We had over 100 student films that were submitted to the contest this year, and about five, close to 500 photography submissions. And this was also our first year that we allowed staff photography to be included in the contest. And you will see all of that organized around the room. And let me just give you a, a quick tutorial. What you see is that everything is organized by grade level. So we have elementary on this side, and then middle, high school, and staff, so no, middle back here, high school and staff around the perimeter. So once we finish with the program, please take a moment to go around the room and take a look at all of this fine photography, representing all grade levels and of course our staff. Uh, before we get started, if you don't mind, if we could take a moment of silence for, in remembrance of the tragedy that happened just down the road in Santa Fe this evening, uh, just a moment of silence for those that are suffering. Okay, thank you. This year we also want to give special thanks to the group that actually made this event possible, which is the Aldine Education Foundation. Uh, they have provided the majority of the funding for this event, and if we have any members of the Aldine Education Foundation here, would you please stand and be recognized? Thank you. And we also want to recognize our board members that are present. Would you please stand? Mr. Mead, who is our board president. Ms. Rose Avalos, who is our board member. Thank you so much for coming out and supporting us. And right in the middle there is Dr. Bamberg, our outgoing superintendent. Thank you for being here. And Dr. Tomey, I lost you. You're here somewhere. There you are. <laughs> Dr. Tomey is also here. And any other district administrators or building administrators that were able to come out on this Friday evening, we really appreciate you being here supporting student creativity for this showcase. We're, we're, we're really, really excited that you're able to be a part of this. Uh, now, we have three different categories for the film festival, and these, this is, these are the categories that the students had to choose for their work when they entered the festival. The categories were narrative, documentary, and the 60-second short. Each of these categories required slightly different skills, and the students had to use those skills with building a storyboard, a script, to help direct their classmates, their actors that were in the films, and they had to bring all that together and work as a team. The narrative category allows the students to tell a story, kind of like a, a fictional book, while the documentary is actually taking a, a look at real events or a person. The 60 second short category is going to give students the opportunity to cover any topic that they want, but it has to be 60 seconds or less in length. And the students used pretty much whatever tools that were available to them. It could have been an iPhone, it could have been a tablet, it could have been Chromebooks, computers, anything that was available, including just plain old steel cameras. And they used all of this with a little bit of help from their teachers, but mostly this is all a showcase of student work with as producers and also cast members. The requirements for the narrative and documentary categories were pretty much the same. They had a minimum of three minutes in length up to no more than seven minutes. And they've been working hard to make sure the sound, the lighting, all of that was perfect and on point. And then we had judges that rated their films based on all of these different elements. We also want to take a moment to thank any judges that helped us rate all of this great work. Uh, they spent hours watching all of this, and you will have a, a chance to watch that playlist as well if you have not. But we're going to go ahead and get started with the awards for this evening. So I'm going to let you know that parents, your artists, are, when they come up to be recognized, they're going to come to my left over here where you see the red carpet. And you see Ms. Lopez waving over here. She's going to guide you up these stairs to come and receive your awards. Everybody got that? And then, parents, I know you got your cameras ready because you want to capture these moments. We're going to get them across the stage, and they're going to go right out that door for picture opportunities. Okay? All righty. So let's go ahead with the finalists for the elementary narrative category. Elementary narrative.
Melissa Rodriguez, Harris Academy. Aileen Velasquez, Gray Elementary. Josue Zamora, Bodum Elementary. Artist, when you hear your name called, I need you to make your way up to the side of the stage to be recognized. So in third place from Odom Elementary is Josue Zamora. In second place from Harris Academy is Alyssa Rodriguez. And in first place, from Gray Elementary, is Aileen Velasquez. Congratulations, artists. And while they're coming up here to collect the goods, we want to let you know what they are winning. So each individual artist is going to receive a medal that they can walk around with proudly all weekend long. Let them shower in it if you want but they will be taking a big trophy back to the school that they can put in their display case. And they also have a little prize for themselves. Uh, each winner is going to receive some headphones so they can watch some films in silence at home. We're going to move on to the second category for the elementary grade level, and that's documentary. A documentary video is going to tell the story of a person or an event. Our elementary students did a fantastic job in this category putting together these films, so when your name is called, I want you to go ahead and start making your way to the front. Uh, let's take a look at the nominees for elementary documentary. Elementary Documentary Anthony Enriquez, Wilson Academy Francisco Moreno, Odom Elementary Melanie Lara, Carter Academy And the winners are, in third place, from Odom Elementary, is Francisco Moreno. In second place, from Wilson Academy, is Anthony Manriquez. And in first place, from Carter Academy, is Melanie Lara. All right, congratulations, artists. Excellent job. Now, our Third category is the 60 second short. And remember, this is a category where they could pretty much document any topic that they want, but it had to fit within a 60 second window, which is especially tough. Uh, this could be anything that they wanted about life, fiction, whatever, but the time limit was the, the cl clinker. So we're going to call you up in no particular order. When you hear your name, come on up to the stairs. So let's take a look at the nominees for elementary 60 second short. Elementary 60 Second Short Hannah Hodge, Conley Elementary Isaiah Macias, Reed Academy Vanessa Quintero, Gray Elementary The winners are, in third place, 
From Gray Elementary, Vanessa Cantero. In second place, from Reed Academy, Isaiah Macias. And in first place, for her film, Hannah's Red Velvet, is Miss Hannah Hodge from Conley Elementary. And Miss Hannah stayed with the theme with her color red, her signature color. <laughs> Congratulations, artists. Now, uh, the prizes that I gave you a sneak peek about, we are receiving those prizes of course, with the sponsorship of the Aldine Education Foundation. They don't just support events like this, but they also provide innovative grants for teachers every year. And the foundation also provides students with many scholarship opportunities. We are especially thankful to the Aldine Education Foundation for helping us with this event. Thank you, Aldine Education Foundation. Thank you, Aldine Education Foundation. Thank you, Aldine Education Foundation. The mission of the Aldine Education Foundation is to provide community-based support to Aldine ISD in pursuit of excellence in teaching, innovation in the classroom, and superior learning opportunities for all students. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Aldine Education Foundation raises funds through events, an employee giving campaign, an annual appeal, and by working directly with interested community members. Thank you, Aldine Education Foundation. Thank you, Aldine Foundation. Thank you, Aldine Education Foundation. To strengthen student success in Aldine ISD classrooms and beyond, AEF delivers the following programs. Student scholarships, innovative teaching grants, teacher of the year awards, foundation scholars, and the educational excellence grants. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. want to take a moment to thank the people that are responsible for putting on this event. No questions asked. They work all hours of the day and the weekend and they chat all the time in between and that is the Aldine Broadcast Network team and if you look around the room in the black shirt, black jacket, the ladies that are on stage with me, those are the members of the Aldine Broadcast Network. Super talented folks and Without them, we would not be able to pull off events like this at any time. They are producing, manning the cameras, and they are streaming it live on YouTube. So uh, we're going to make sure you understand how to be able to get to that YouTube feed before you leave so you can see yourself on TV. Uh, now we're going to switch to the middle school grade level categories. So. We are going to first look at the middle school narrative category winner. So guys, if, as you hear your name called, start making your way up to the stage. Middle school narrative. Aldo Mora, Wilson Intermediate. Anna Ortiz, Aldine Middle School. Cardin Tran, Wilson Intermediate. In third place, from Wilson Academy, is Aldo Mora. In second place, also from Wilson Academy, is Cardin Tran. Yes, bring the whole team up. <laughs> All right, and in first place, from Aldine Middle School is Miss Anna Ortiz. 
Congratulations. <laughs> All righty. Now, we are going to look at our winners for the next category, which is the 60-second short. That includes films, remember, of any topic that have to be condensed into 60 seconds or less, which is quite a task. And when you hear your names, folks, just come on and make your way up to the stage. These are the nominees for Middle School 60 Second Short. Middle School 60 Second Short. Angel Falco, Aldi Middle School. Ashlate Cruz, Aldi Middle School. Rodrigo Angelo, Escamilla Intermediate. In third place, from Escamilla Intermediate School, Rodrigo Angulo. In second place, from Aldean Middle School, is Angel Franco Ramirez. And in, she already figured it out. In first place, <laughs> <laughs> from also Aldine Middle School is Ashley Cruz. Congratulations. <laughs> and the final category for the middle school students is the documentary. And remember, this is a video that is telling a story about a person or an event. Our middle school students did a wonderful job putting their documentary films together. So when you hear your names called, come make your way to the stage. Here middle School Documentary. Josue Robolos, Reed Academy. Dariana Lopez, Shotwell Middle School. Tamaria Sanders, Plummer Middle School. are. In third place from Shotwell Middle School is Dariana Lopez. In second place from Reed Academy is Josue Rebelloso. And our first place winner is from Plummer Middle School, Tamaria Sander. Congratulations, middle schoolers. Another round of applause for all of the winners in the middle school categories. Now, as a reminder, you can view all of the videos in one big giant playlist from the student submissions this year on the ABN YouTube channel. ABN stands for Aldine Broadcast Network. So if you go to YouTube, simply search Aldine Broadcast Network and you will see the entire playlist of all of the student submissions for this year. Uh, and actually, you can see everything that we do on the Aldine Broadcast Network. Subscribe to it, and every time we do another event, you'll get a, some type of notification to let you know to tune in. And we would appreciate it. <laughs> All right, now we're going to move on to the high school winners. The finalists for the high school narrative category are next. So as you hear your name, start making your way to the stage, please. High School Narrative, Brian Grimaldi, MacArthur Senior High School. Jana Thomas-Reed, Davis Senior High School. Victor Gutierrez, Victory Early College. High schoolers, the winners are in third place.
From Davis High School is Miss Jana Thomas Reed. And look for Jana on TV. She's got a full ride to go play basketball in Louisiana. <laughs> in second place, if Victory Early College is with Mr. Victor Gutierrez. Congratulations. And in first place, this student was the only one to receive a perfect score for his video submission of all of our student videos. This is Mr. Brian Grimaldi for his film, Unwanted, first place. And we wanna give another thank you to the Aldean Education Foundation for their support of this event. We really believe here that student voice is so important and to have their support to fund an event that showcases student creativity is really important to us. We had a special project that they also funded where they were, we were able to purchase mobile broadcast sets for one for every school this year. And so far we've been able to distribute 31 podcasters, which includes a green screen, cameras, iPad, MacBook, where students can produce videos wherever they decide to, to be creative. And the Aldean, Aldean Education Foundation made that possible, so we want to thank them again. <laughs> Thank you, Aldean Education Foundation. Thank you, Aldean Education Foundation. Thank you, Aldean Education Foundation. The mission of the Aldean Education Foundation is to provide community-based support to Aldean ISD in pursuit of excellence in teaching, innovation in the classroom, and superior learning opportunities for all students. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Aldean Education Foundation raises funds through events, an employee giving campaign, an annual appeal, and by working directly with interested community members. Thank you, Aldean Education Foundation. Thank you, Aldean Education Foundation. Thank you, Aldean Education Foundation. To strengthen student success in Aldean ISD classrooms and beyond, AEF delivers the following programs. Student scholarships, innovative teaching grants, teacher of the year awards, foundation scholars, and the educational excellence grants. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As we continue with the honorees for the high school categories, our next category is the 60 second short. As you hear your name called, please start making your way to the stage. And here are the nominees for the high school 60 second short. 60 second short. Jesse Massey, Carver High School. Letty Lara, Davis Senior High School. Dragon 2K, Davis Senior High School. Alrighty, and the winners for the high school 60 second short are in third place from Carver High School is Jesse Massey. In second place from Davis Senior High School is Dragon 2K. And in first place from Davis Senior High School is Letty Lara. The final category for our high school students is documentary and they've done a great job with putting together their documentaries for the high school category. So again, as you hear your name, please make your way to the stage. These are the nominees for high school documentary. High school documentary, Mauricio Alvarado, Carver High School. 
Luis Rubio, Victory Early Calling. Stephanie Mejia, Davis Senior High School. And the winners are, in third place, from Davis Senior High School, is Stephanie Mejia. In third place, from Victory Early College, is Luis Rubio. And in first place, is from Carver Senior High School, is Maurizio Alvarado for his film, An Inspiring Teacher Named Mr. Cobb. And just as a side note, the subject of that film, uh, Mr. Cobb, was actually a presenter for our event, Inspire Aldean, where different professionals in the district get up and tell their story as to what makes their journey so inspiring. Now, we're gonna switch up to the photography winners right now. We are done with all of the film submissions, so please give a round of applause for all of the student winners in the films categories. And last year was our first year to make this a blended film and photography contest. Uh, so when we opened this up originally, we didn't know what the kids were going to be using to submit their films, but they used their cell phones, they used regular old point and shoot cameras to produce all the images that you see here for the photography contest. And experiencing photography from different perspectives allows these young students to create images to share their view with the rest of the world. In no particular order, we're going to check out our finalists for the elementary photography contest. So when you hear your name, start making your way to the stage, please. These are the nominees for elementary photo contest. Elementary photography. Natalia Monsevez, Conley Elementary. Erica Almagner, Black Elementary. Alejandra Baladeras, Francis Elementary. All righty. And the winners are, in third place, Natalie Monsevias from Conley Elementary. In second place, from Black Elementary, is Erica Almagner. And in first place, from Francis Elementary, is Alejandra Valladares. And we wanna take a moment to recognize that we had close to 500 photo submissions representing 65 schools within Aldine for all grade levels. So that was pre-K through 12, and that was quite a submission. That was well more than what we had in our first year last year. Okay, we're gonna move on to the middle school uh, student category, and we just wanna take a moment to recognize Dr. Michael Ann Kelly, and I am looking for her in the audience, wherever she is. Okay, she's outside. We're gonna pretend that she's standing right here next to me. <laughs> but uh, Dr. Michael Ann Kelly is the uh, director over visual arts, so all of the photography, all of the artwork that you see without, within, throughout the district, that is her team of talented teachers and the students that they guide to produce all of that. And, and we have so many award-winning students within the district representing the art community. And we just wanna thank her for allowing her people to partner with us on this project. So let's go on and look at the middle school photography contest finalists. Middle school photography, Lanaya Johnson, Plummer Middle School. Dolce Ramos, Hamburg Middle School. Araceli Hernandez, Grantham Academy.
and the winners are. In third place, from Plummer Middle School is Lanaya Johnson. In second place, from Hambrick Middle School is Dulce Ramos. And in first place, from Grantham Academy, is Araceli Hernandez. And our last student division of the evening is the high school photography category. The high school students who earned their place in this list, they range uh, all grade levels, 9th through 12th. And let's take a look at who those nominees are. High school photography. Jade Menefee, Carver High School. Keenan Harris. Carver High School. Alicia Prince, Davis High School. Okay, and the winners are for the high school photography contest. In third place is Mr. Keenan Harris from Carver High School. In second place, also from Carver High School, is Miss Jade Menifee. And in first place from Davis High School is Alasia Prince with her work after the storm. Let's give a big round of applause for all of our student photographers. But we're not done, because remember this was the first year that we also had a staff photography category. So that is our next category. Let's look at the nominees from the staff photography category. Employee photography, Joshua Hicks, Carver High School. Benjamin Voss, Carter Academy. Monica Thayer, Aldean Senior High School. Now in our photography showcase, over 100 of the items that were submitted were from staff members. So we are very pleased to get the support of our staff members in this contest. And the winners in that category are, in third place, from Carter Academy is Benjamin Voss. In second place, representing Carver High School is Joshua Hicks. <laughs> and in first place, with her picture entitled Hallelujah, representing Aldine Senior High School is Miss Monica Thayer. Congratulations. Now, even though we had to select winners, it was really tough, and everybody is getting their time in the showcase. So before you leave this evening, we do want you to make your way around the room and see all of these works of art. They are quite impressive, very moving, and pretty much we, we were able to know some of the stories behind these stories because it's written on the back. But as these artists go and stand next to their work, ask them about it because these are some very personal stories that these moments in time represent. Uh, we also want to thank all of the parents that came out this evening. Please raise your hand so we can recognize you. Thank you for being here and loaning your kids to us for a little while. <laughs> and we want to also give a shout out to all of the instructional technology specialists that were also on hand coming out to support their students as well. From the team that brought you TCCA, Inspire Aldi, and the Aldi Film Festival. 
comes the future of instructional broadcasting. This evening, we really appreciate you coming out. Please make your way around the room to continue to enjoy the photography and take the snacks with you. They are low fat, I promise. Thank you so much. Come back next year and keep producing this art to show us and share. <laughs>